For many of us, this is our first college graduation, our first degree. For others, this may be your second or even third. But for all of us, this is a beginning. If I had the chance to go out and have a cup of coffee with you, and you were asking me about what's important, uh, what advice I would give you as you start your career, um, I've thought about that. There was a great business writer named Peter Drucker, but he said something that really meant a lot to me. He said, the best way to predict the future is to create it. Think about that. The best way to predict it is for you to create your future. And I like that forward-thinking approach. And not that, that your future is going to be solely in other people's hands. It's in your hands. We have prepared you, our newest alumni, to be leaders in our society. You have developed strong habits of achievement. You are already tomorrow's leaders. Today, you will leave Duville to venture off into the new. And that path is yours to clear and to build. We wish you Good luck. Do well in the world. We will follow your leadership contributions with the greatest of interest. What's next? Most of our lives have been a continuous saga of contemplating what's next. And so many of these what's next questions come from a place purely of obligation something to scratch off of the list and move immediately on to the next item. And my goal speaking with you today is not to motivate you with lessons learned or to pass on some deep understanding of the universe. Primarily because I don't have a deep understanding of the universe. However, with the next few minutes of your time, I intend to thank you and I aim to challenge you. Never in my life have I been surrounded by so many individuals across all fields of study or walks of life with such passion for internal growth, for their patience, for their scope of practice, but most importantly for their neighbors. To take the world around the masses and to challenge it. See, at Duval, it's the students and the climate that we've now made that we don't want to work today for a better tomorrow. We don't want to wait until tomorrow, and so we don't, because we're making a better today. And this climate of change didn't start with our class, and it won't end with our class moving on. It's a product of thousands of open minds that came before us, recognizing and advocating that people of all creeds, races, sexual orientations, cultures, upbringings, deserve the same opportunity to succeed and to have their experiences add to and strengthen that community, not remove them from it. We're all a product of our experiences. Days adding into weeks, adding into years, adding into graduate degrees. And today I'm a pharmacist. But more importantly, I'm a DUVO pharmacist. Prepared to practice in the field what I've learned on this campus, what you've learned on this campus. Compassion, empathy, respect. In short, I want to thank you for allowing me to grow with you. And I stand here today humble and completely honored to have been part of that experience with all of you. Class of 2018, we're a force. And I wish you the most luck, and I challenge you to continue learning, to continue to support each other, to continue to shape your profession and the world around you today, not tomorrow. Congratulations, class of 2018. I cannot possibly be more excited to see what's next.